Greetings, Mafia. Being a UK citizen is an embarrassment at this point. I'm not just referring to recent arrest of Juan Julian Assange, but the fact that the UK has been 51st state and America's bitch for the last three decades. And don't get me started on Brexit. Julian Assange's fate is sealed. He's going to be interrogated by some heavy drugs, and when the dust settles, they'll suicide him. Regardless of his fate, this entire ordeal proves that the system is growing weaker. It's losing its grip and therefore becoming more aggressive. This is the beginning of the end. Understand something, the system spent seven years trying to get him. Two years ago, it went so far to falsely accuse him of rape in, surprise, surprise, Sweden. That fucking country is nothing more than geographical vagina. Two Swedish women claimed Assange raped them, but the case was so weak, they had to drop the charges. If you wonder why we refer to women as agents, look no further. Speaking of women, most of them don't even know who he is. I had a woman straight up asking me if he is a singer. I wish I was kidding. This further proves women are protected class living in a safe bubble of blissful ignorance until one day it bursts. The system was after Assange as if he was the twin brother of Osama bin Laden. It had to make an example out of him in order to inflict fear in any future whistleblowers. But in reality, it only managed to expose weakness and its true colors. If the system was truly as powerful as it wants us to believe, it would just let him rot away in that embassy. Technically speaking, he was already in prison. But that wasn't enough, he had to be made an example. This will awake even more blue pillars and drive another nail in feminist coffin. The system is losing its grip and it knows it. The SEO is pushing hard and its economic base is growing weaker as men are opting out of game, keeping their resources for themselves. Women aren't producers, they are consumers. Healthy economy is based on production rather than consumption. And the system draws its power from the economy. Cops are defending the system for a paycheck, so does soldiers. Dwindling number of available men will further weaken its muscle. Robots can only replace so much. Protection requires intelligence beyond programming. As it gets more desperate, it will become more aggressive. I've stated before that feminism is a failed experiment. It was doomed from the jump. Yes, it took its share of male casualties, but will inevitably backfire on women. And hard. The system needs new form of control. Feminism ran out of juice and became obsolete, and what's worse, detrimental and overinflated. LGBT is the last desperate attempt to save the drowning system, but it will achieve nothing but failure. It has to. It's unnatural. LGBT agenda doesn't produce, it consumes and it does so on a much higher scale than feminism. In short, this is accelerationism at its finest, and it can end only one way, as a farce, just like its predecessor. No amount of restrictions or censorship can save this sinking ship, the cat's out of the bag. Wikileaks did its part and Assange will become a symbol of insurrection. The system resorting to oppression and censorship is one that no longer has control over hearts and minds of its subjects. Television is a dying media. The internet is both present and the future. Problem is, it's the place where the rebellion got started. So no amount of censorship will make any difference. The arrest of Julian Assange is an empty victory because the oppression only works until it doesn't. Last but not least, the system is nothing more than a gang, composed out of different smaller gangs. Governments are gangs, political parties are gangs, police is a gang, so is the military. European Union is a gang. They all share gang mentality, but what makes Black Pill more potent is that it has something they don't. It has a philosophy. Gang seeks strength in numbers, while Black Pill is all about individualism. We don't need a leader. The philosophy is the leader. It can't be bribed or bullied or intimidated or arrested or killed. 
Julian Assange is an individual, not a group or a leader. This is why it's impossible to truly kill him. They can take his life and freedom away, but his legacy is immortalized. As soon as he dies, the legend will be born. If you've been following my channel, you notice that I've been posting videos more often than I usually did, so make sure you hit that notification button. There's also a link to my PayPal tip jar in the description box. And uh, I'm very thrilled by the response I got for my uh, incel video, the message to incels. I had some great discussions in the comment section, and that's what makes everything I do around here worthwhile. This is Top Dollar signing off.